23,000 square meters. Experienced employees. Innovative technology. Welcome to Aldershot, the most sophisticated clay brick manufacturing facility in North America and home of Hanson Brick. This state-of-the-art plant began producing brick in May 2001. In the next few minutes, we'll take you inside Aldershot and through each step of the manufacturing process. You'll learn how Canada's largest brick producer is building an industry. The Aldershot plant is located on 200 acres of land in the west end of Burlington, Ontario. 150 of those acres are used for mining Queenston Shale, the primary raw material in the bricks manufactured at the Aldershot facility. Here, there are sufficient shale reserves to supply material for over 40 years. It is in these giant mounds of red and gray where the brick manufacturing process begins. The shale is excavated and collected into stockpiles where it is left to weather. Leaving the shale outside gives it a chance to soften, making it easier to be crushed. From the stockpiles, the raw material is brought inside to the crusher, where it is crushed into smaller pieces. The broken down material is then sent to the grinding operation by one of the many conveyors that are used throughout the facility. Inside the grinder, the material is progressively pulverized and screened until it reaches the consistency of beach sand. Proper sized material proceeds to the next stage, while oversized material is returned to the grinder for further processing. After the material has been ground to the required size, it is conveyed to a giant mixer called a pug mill, where water is added. The moistened, ground shale is then stored in two large bunkers in the reclaimer room, a sophisticated method of storage that facilitates further blending and ensures a more consistent raw material supply. A hydraulically controlled arm reclaims the material back onto a conveyor, where it will travel to a surge hopper inside the mill room. There it is placed in a second pug mill where additional moisture is added. The mixing is then finalized in a third pug mill to ensure the shale has obtained the level of plasticity needed for extrusion. The clay is now ready for extrusion. This is the stage in the manufacturing process where the bricks really begin to take shape. The clay is forced into a vacuum chamber, then into the extruder. It emerges from the extruder transformed into a continuous rectangular column with three to five circular cavities running down the center of the column's entire length. These are known as core holes. Core holes offer many benefits. They aid in the firing process, reduce weight for handling, and provide better bond for mortar. As the column leaves the extruder, it can be enhanced with surface texturing. Pigment-laden sand and liquid additives can also be applied on the surface to achieve desired colors. The pigment is released from sack-filled hoppers above the conveyor. The colors are created through combinations of pigment in the raw material and the all-natural additives. After the necessary color and texture is applied, the column is cut into even slugs. The slugs pass through a wire cutter where the bricks are cut to their final size. Any excess clay is recycled back into the pug mill. No material is wasted. Aldershot uses the latest technology and cutting systems to enhance the edge quality of the brick. The cutter is one of many machines at Aldershot featuring electric eye safety shutoff switches that prevent anyone from entering the machine area while it's in operation. The newly cut brick is conveyed to the setter here, four robots work around the clock, loading the brick onto waiting kiln cars. Through the use of this advanced machinery, over 20,000 bricks can be set in a single hour. The kiln cars at Aldershot are over 6 meters wide and operate on a track system. The loaded cars will transport the brick into the dryers and later into the intense heat of the kilns. As the brick is loaded onto the cars, a vertical space is left between each stack. You'll see why once the bricks are in the kiln. 
operation of the kiln car system, and all other facets of manufacturing at Aldershot are controlled through an advanced computer network to ensure accuracy and efficiency. The control room acts as a main operations center where personnel can control equipment, monitor all plant activity, and ensure the best possible product is being produced. Once the kiln cars are set, they are directed by computer to travel down the track to one of Aldershot's two dryer tunnels. Before the brick is fired, it must be completely dry to avoid cracking during the firing process. Any moisture could cause it to crack or crumble inside the kiln. To dry the brick, waste heat is captured at the end of the kiln and blown into the dryers at approximately 225 degrees Celsius. The cars remain inside the 152 meter long dryers for an average of 26 hours. The brick is now ready to be fired and is transported to the kiln tunnels. The temperature inside each kiln reaches a scorching 1100 degrees Celsius. At such a high temperature, the brick is permanently vitrified, gaining strength, beauty and everlasting color. Each kiln car is fired for 24 to 30 hours. The burners have been strategically positioned to ensure the flames do not actually touch the brick, instead traveling through the spaces between the stacks. This is an efficient way of firing that ensures even distribution of the heat. Near the end of the firing process, brick can pass through a high gas, low oxygen flame in a process known as flashing. This changes the color of the brick in each stack to give it a natural range. When the cars emerge from the kiln, they have already cooled considerably, thanks to specially designed systems inside the kiln and on the cars themselves. The brick is directed to the sorting and packaging operation, where it is unloaded by four robots working in tandem. Over 20,000 brick units can be unloaded every hour. After moving along an inspection conveyor, the brick is ready to be packaged. Units are stacked into a delivery cube, then packed into Hansen Brick's custom twin pack. This system makes the brick easier and safer to handle once it arrives at a job site. Every pack is inventoried by brick type, size, and run number. At a number of different stages in the brick making process, the raw material is tested for appropriate properties. At the end of the manufacturing process, samples of the finished brick are taken to Aldershot's advanced lab where they are tested for compressive strength, size and water absorption. All brick produced by Hansen Brick meets or exceeds both CSA and ASTM standards. After the final testing, the securely packaged brick is taken by forklift to a paved storage area outside, from where it will soon be shipped to job sites and dealer yards. The finished product can be seen on the exterior of homes, commercial buildings, schools, and many other types of institutions. Hansen Brick's genuine clay brick offers homeowners in the entire building community the benefits of strength, beauty, and durability. We're building for the future, and Aldershot is where it all begins.